So we have question number 39 with us. It says two reactions R1 and R2 have identical pre-exponential factors. Activation energy of R1 exceeds that of R2 by 10 kJ per mole. If K1 and K2 are rate constants for reactions R1 and R2 respectively at 300 Kelvin, then natural log K2 by K1 is equals to. The value of R is given 8.314 kJ per mole per Kelvin. Let us solve this question. Pre-exponential factor is A. So, for reaction R1, we will write K1 is equals to A e to the power minus E A1 by RT according to the Arrhenius equation. Similarly, for reaction 2, K2 will be equal to A into E to the power minus E A2 upon RT. Let us say this is equation 1, this is equation 2. We are dividing equation 2 by equation 1. So, we will get K2 by K1 is equals to E to the power minus E A2 upon RT divided by E to the power minus E A1 upon RT. When we solve this, we will get K2 upon K1 is equals to E to the power minus E A2 minus E A1 divided by RT. And according to the question it is given, E A1 is 10 kJ greater than E A2. So, here K2 by K1 will be equal to K2 by K1 will be equal to E to the power minus of minus 10,000 by RT. Because the energy is given in kJ. So, we will write it in Joule. Taking natural log both sides, ln k2 by k1 will be equal to minus minus plus 10,000 upon R is 8.314 and temperature is 300 Kelvin. By solving this, we will get the answer approximately equal to 4. Hence, the correct answer for this question is option 2. Let's move to the next question which is question number 40. Question number 40 says pKa of a weak acid HA and pKb of a weak base BOH are 3.2 and 3.4 respectively. The pH of their salt AB solution is. AB is salt of weak acid with weak base. So, we will write its pH equal to 7 plus pKa minus pKb by 2. Let us put the values. pH is equals to 7 plus the value of pK is given 3.2 minus pKb is given 3.4 by 2. So, from here you can write pH is equals to 7 minus 0 0.2 by 2 which on solving gives you answer 6.9. So, the correct answer for this question is option 4 that is 6.9. Now, let us move to the next question which is question number 41. Question number 41 says both lithium and magnesium displays several similar properties due to diagonal relationship. However, the one which is incorrect is the first option is both form nitrides. This is correct. Lithium as well as magnesium both form nitrides. Nitrates of both lithium and magnesium yield NO2 and oxygen on heating. This option is also correct. Both of them gives you NO2, O2 and their oxide. Fourth option says both form soluble bicarbonate. This is also true. Third option is incorrect. So, the correct answer for this question is option 3. Both form basic carbonate. This is an incorrect statement. Magnesium forms a basic carbonate MgCO3 dot MgOH whole twice dot thrice H2O. This is a basic carbonate formed by magnesium. However, the lithium does not form any such carbonate. So, the correct answer for this question is option 3. Now, let us move to the question number 42 which says which of the following species is not paramagnetic in nature. 
So the options are option one is oxygen, second is boron, third option is NO, fourth option is CO. Let us write their configuration. Oxygen, it has 16 electrons total. So sigma 1s2, star sigma 1s2, sigma 2s2, star sigma 2s2, then we'll have sigma 2pz2, pi 2px2 equal to pi 2py2, pi star 2px1 is equal to star pi 2py1. So we can see in its anti-bonding pi orbital, we have unpaired electrons. So this is paramagnetic in nature. If I move to the next B2, B2 will have 10 electrons. This will be sigma 1s2, star sigma 1s2, sigma 2s2, star sigma 2s2, pi 2px1 equal to pi 2py1. In this case also we have unpaired electrons in pi orbitals. If I talk about NO, NO will have 15 electrons. So the configuration will be sigma 1s2, star sigma 1s2, sigma 2s2, star sigma 2s2, sigma 2pz2, pi 2px2 equal to pi 2py2, star pi 2px1 equal to star pi 2py0. So this is the configuration. In this configuration, we can see we have an unpaired electron in star pi 2px orbital. So it is also paramagnetic. If I talk about CO, which has 14 electrons, its configuration will be sigma 1s2, star sigma 1s2, sigma 2s2, star sigma 2s2, pi 2px2 equal to pi 2py2, and sigma 2pz2. So we can see here we don't have any unpaired electron. So this will be diamagnetic in nature, not paramagnetic in nature. So the correct answer for this question is option 4. So these were question number 39 to 42. We'll discuss more question in the next video.